flip over, do the thing with the stuff there. I do not have all day. There, thingy is stuff choo of my thing in my jigging. There we go. That seems a little better. Alrighty. Like the title of this is gonna say, this is my feedback and advice for the DE, the guys who are making Warframe, regarding Warframe. By the way, you watching? I am Katana. I am the Lightning Cat. Right. First things first. I've got so many things that I'd love to talk about. But I'm going to start with the mod card system. I would love to see a quest that you do. Then, and it's going to have to be completely optional for those who don't want to increase how many mod cards they can put in. Do a nice little quest that gives you a widget that you install into... Stop crouching. Into your mod section over here. Come over, pop it in. And then... Uh, It'll give you an extra little option on this actions line that'll say add extra card slots. And what that'll do, for example, it'll add extra card slots to your configurations for all of your stuff. Your frames, your weapons, your companions, and their weapons. Got a nice good example going here for my niggers prime. For example, wait. Oh yeah, before I get any more deeper into this, it'll go up to a maximum of three times. That's three hundred percent, or or was it two hundred percent? No, 300% total capacity. I'm not talking about this number right here, this capacity number. I'll worry about that later. But that that being a minimum right there for when this polarity is lined up and it matches and all that. <laughs> Just uh, leave that number alone for right now. Just for the challenge of trying to get all your favorite mod cards in using up to three times the basic slots the aura mod slots right here and the uh, exilus mod slots here and of course if you're gonna do that you'd have three of these so you can put all three of your favorite aura mods in and then three of these for, well, let's see, where's the other one to put in? The Cunning Drift, Coaction Drift. Yeah, I like using them. So increasing these to a maximum of three each, that would be fucking fantastic. And then let's see, we have eight here, so three times eight. Eight and eight is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 22 24 total frickin' mod slots. And then leaving the capacity alone to see how well everyone can form up and work with their mod slots would be a fucking fantastic thing. Holy fuck, that was a mouthful. <sighs> <sighs> My mouth is dry after talking that much. Whew. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah. Tenno, a new alert has begun. Shut it up, be Space Ordis Mom. I would definitely roll rejuvenation and energy siphon. 
up here in the aura mod slots. That would just make my Necros build incredible. That alone would make it more incredible than it already is. Where's where's another one? Where's another one that I would use? I don't need either of these because I have a carrier prime. Enemy shields reduced. Increases weapon draw and holstering speed. I might throw one of those on there. Or, you know, for race frame, I would totally go with a sprint boost. EMP aura. Corpus enemies have reduced accuracy. No, I don't need to worry about that unless I'm doing a survival. Uh, no, not I would not go with that. Physique. Yep. I would have rejuvenation, physique, and what was that other one? Frickin' my memory is shit right now. Energy siphon. Yep, definitely would have those three in my aura slots. And that would be kick-ass. Also regarding modding and the mod card system. These configurations... Personally, I would want each configuration to be formed separately from the others because let me bring you over here to my Tigris build and show you why because this is the best example I'll have. Take a look at this. Right, this configuration is for punch through where's the, where's the there it is punch through and there's another card that I would totally add to this seeking fury let's just see if I can just find it real quick uh, yeah there you go seeking fury if I could add just one more mod card slot I would put in seeking fury and this would just be my punch through crowd control build whereas configuration B it would be nothing but straight up max damage against bosses. You know, for the, the shit and the sorties. And I would love to have them form it separately. The configurations, just absolutely would fucking love that. Problem is, <laughs> I gotta find people who would agree with it. That's a fucking mouthful in itself right there. And if they did do that, make a quest that you get an, uh, an item, an extra widget, kind of like the Arkwing launcher segment that you put in the foundry, only it's another segment that you put in your mods. Let's you do all those delicious things that I was talking about. That would be totally kick-ass. And on top of that, you'd have to earn it, and you'd have to craft each additional slot, and it would be something that you would use form as, as well as f other rare resources for. Now, if you excuse me for just a moment, I'm gonna go grab this Nitan Extract. Because it's an alert that popped up recently and I wanna get it. Someone told me that there's a way to have my achievements pop up from my Xbox onto my stream. Somebody told me there was an option somewhere, and I haven't found I it yet. This ship's reactor. The reactor is a I live in Desecrate. Oop, almost went to... Whoa, don't want to go through that. 
There we go. There's a scannable back there, but I'm not worried about it right now. This is an alert. I'm going straight for the the knitting extract. Hey, get get out of the wall, Negros! Crazy path. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone at all? No? Fuck off. 333! Wait, what's back over here? Nice. I thought it was gonna be one of those Ayatan treasures, but I was sadly mistaken. What? Hmm. Seemed fairly straightforward and easy enough. I'll take you with me. It's my companion coolant cell. Why not? Because I love all the Wabba Fett. That's why not. Whoa, shit. Security has locked down the cool themselves. Have no choice but to destroy them. I didn't even see that there. That's a completely new tile in this area for me. Whoops. Now is your chance to complete the sabotage. Use Ken to make sure it never works again. I'm gonna take you and uh go down here. And here's what I'm uh, gonna do. I'm gonna insert this freezy cell. A coolant cell has been placed in the fuel port. Hack the console to restart the reactor. Defend the system until the coolant has flooded the fuel. Did I say you could live? No, I did fucking not. You die. Every last one of you die. Crazy bastard shot me! What a rocket launcher! Well, I destroyed one. Oh. 
Fuck, you can have it! Keep my Archiplasmor, I'll make more! Let me out of this shithole. Okay. Holy fuck. Fuck that. I was screwing around too much. Okay. Now, the primary, or first reason, I'm talking about these ideas for this game is because it's everyone's constitutionally and civilly protected unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness. Yeah, I know. One of my friends, oh, duh, I'm so tired of hearing it. Okay, yo, whatever. Fuck off if you don't want to hear it. Problem being, nobody's been caring so far when I'm talking about these things. <sighs> now, is there any more alerts? No, I don't know. Never mind it. What was the other reasons I was talking about that stuff? Oh yeah! Because it would be fucking awesome! And uh, the third reason for this game specifically the mod card system is this game's meta. It's not which weapon is the the best or does the most damage because well let's face it Everybody has probably already seen the videos of this one dude taking the shittiest, lowest damaging weapon he can and making it one-shot a fucking boss in the game. I mean, come on. You, you can take, uh... You can take the Mark I Paris and trick it out to do some fucking awesome shit. And up until Archiplasmor got released, people were calling the Opticor the BFG from Doom. But now the Opticor is more along the lines of the Spartan laser from Halo. Oh yeah, that second Rectosernos I'm holding for a friend until he reaches the proper level to trade it. Alright, every weapon in the game is good for a particular level bracket or a particular scenario for example let's see what's a good uh, low level weapon okay let, let's go with uh, the board do I have a mark one version of it There's a Mark One Strun, or the Strun or the Boar. That's pretty low stats right there. Twenty. Okay, maybe maybe it was the Boar that had lower stats than that. Yeah. 
Either way, it's pretty low. This is something you'd use early game to just to get through it and get your extra mastery rank out of it. And there's probably someone, not gonna be me, because, well, I'm not gonna do it just yet, who's gonna take that and run with that idea of, oh, wow, I'm gonna do something awesome with this and make it even better than it can be. But you just take that same attitude of, I'm gonna take this shitty weapon that everyone's crapping all over and make it awesomer, and you run with my idea of adding extra mod card slots to it, and the potential becomes nearly unlimited. Up to three times what its base is. Some supporting uh, psychology for my idea is it's it's uh, it's the game devs' responsibility to promote everyone's pursuit of happiness, to do what they want to do in games. How else can you do that in this game? But promoting more awesomeness by letting everyone max out how many more mod card slots they can get. What else did I want to do? Hmm. I think I already have one of those. I am three months behind on this game. I already did that. I'm not doing that one. That's a spy there mission. I, I need to get my buddies in here with me. None of them are playing this game. Fuck! For fuck's sake. Uh, I'm gonna end this right here because I've said some of the things I had on my mind to say. And that was the whole total point of why I started recording this particular video in the first place. Well, stream. Slammy! You're the one watching! Do you agree with anything I've been saying? Yo, boo. boo. Yo, boo. Boo what? Boo you don't approve or boo you're doing a Halloween themed thing? Yeah. I asked three separate questions. You can't answer yeah to all three of them because two of them are contradicting themselves. Y yes, what? You're going to give me a brain hemorrhage. You're dressing up. Oh. So that's what the yes is for. Okay. You're you're dressing up as a ghost for Halloween. Or a member of the clan. The the Triple K clan. Either way. Yeah, I know a couple of neighborhoods uh, locally you can go to as, as a clan member and scare the living fuck out of all of them there. Recent captures. You're dressing up as roadkill? I don't, I don't have any words for that one, man. Anyway, Slim, 
when this video goes over to my YouTube, you can leave comments uh, whether or not you agree with the things I've said there, if you like. Oh, wow. Bam. Yeah, thank you for letting me know that I'm broadcasting. Hey! Dude, it's fine. Yeah, charge and play. Well, the thing is, yeah, they, they shaved me head going in and then they decided to be a bitch and shave me head coming out of prison. You know, it sucks when you go to prison for defending yourself. You concluded your audio, right? Go ahead. Yeah. You can... We can rehash my discussion. <laughs> There's hey. it. Oh, shit, you're playing this game for a while. Huh? I haven't played this game for such a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. Wow, like... Almost a year? Uh, I've been playing it for a year in total, but, you know, it's been three months since the last time, basically. So how much of what oh, I was talking about with the mod card system did you actually uh, hear? Oh, fuck, I didn't hear that part. My TV was on mute before you... I had a phone call. <laughs> okay, basically... So, uh, you could be like going, yep, 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 Okay, basically I was saying, you know how they had a uh, quest for the Arcwing and you get the launcher segment and you put it in the foundry? Why not have a quest to increase how many mod card slots you have? You get a, a, a widget or a, some device you put over here in the mods and then you select to... Um... Hey, hold on. What type of character is that? This is Necros Prime. Oh, show me all the suits you own. Hang on, man. Uh, and then it adds an additional thing fuck? right here. It you, adds an extra don't action. Do, don't move the screen. I want to check out things. Wait. Holy this? shit. This just is all my mod cards. I know, I'm just looking. And then over here is my ribbons. These are a pain in the ass to acquire. And look at this pistol oh, ribbon. Jesus In order to unlock that veiled ribbon, I have to complete a solo interception on level 30 or higher with a hobble dragon key equipped. And a hobble dragon key makes you move slower. And I have to do that with level 30 or higher interception on solo. And an interception is where you run back and forth between four points and basically it's like capture and hold the flag or king of the hill with four points. Holy, that person wasn't nice. Um, these, they're just random rolls for unlocking the, the, the veiled mods. No, 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 sorry. Buddy, I'm just reading some of your, um, fan mail. Fan mail? Once, once, why? Uh, painted, paint, point, paint L fifty five, point to uh, whatever. Don't worry point about that. He says goodbye, faggot, Teddy, Easter. He was saying titty eater, but he mistyped it. Don't worry about that. I don't give a fuck what uh, people say anymore. Dude, it's fucking fine. So anyway, you do a little quest, it gives See? you a widget that unlocks an extra slot over here for actions, and it'll be add extra mod card slots or something like that. 
And then you do that, and it uses a forma and whatever else the dev team wants to decide All it right. needs. Show me some of your, show me uh, your old Warframes. Some of my Warframes. You remember Rhino? We farmed oh, yeah. for that one. Uh huh. And then I got Rhino Prime, and this is the skin I put on him. Looks nice, doesn't it? Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. Well, let's go uh, back to the vinyl for a second. Regular. Just the regular, the regular. 360? But slow? Oh yeah, yeah, that was my buddy. That's my <laughs> buddy. <laughs> then, then, uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, holy shit, look at the fuckers you got. Uh, this is the one you get from a quest. And it comes max rank already. I'm trying to remember the ones I had. You had a regular rhino, I remember that. Then we yeah, were gonna go farm for the Titty Fairy and Loki. There's Loki right there. Oh, the one that you kinda look like a de like Satan himself. Oh uh, there we go. Oberon. Yeah, that's that's Satan. That's the healer. It's it's kind of a, a poetic irony of sorts. And I'm using that term That's very cool. loosely. That's kind of cool. I like how he looks. Ah, I like the, how I did the paint job on him, though. Thanks for... Fucking right. Anyway, dude, the, the thing with the mod cards. So you do a quest... I still like my nunchucks. Yeah, yeah, I, I got a, mine. I got a few pair of those as well. You do a quest, then you select which frame you want to, or or weapon or whatever that you want to increase the mod cards caps on. And instead of having these eight down here, my ideas go up to a maximum of three times this number. So you can put all, you know, three uh, aura slots. You can use all three auras at once. Three of these. For the Exilus, and then this is eight slots, so eight times three, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 24. So if we could put 24 cards in this area down here, and then work with the capacity as is right here, that would, that would make it even more awesome, wouldn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, I can see you declaring war. Declaring war? Oh, yeah. You, you be standing your ground. Uh, what, what do you mean by that? I'm not catching the reference. Well, you got some good cards. Well, it's not just the good cards. It's doing what you want to do with the cards and the slots. Yeah, you basically you put them in the right places. They're, they're gonna work with the sport, what you want it to be. Yeah, but I'm talking about adding more slots to put more cards in. And on top of that, these these little green uh, numbers in the corner of these, right here. Uh huh. Uh, those are polarities, and I would like each configuration. You see up here, configuration A, B, and C. I'd like each configuration to be modded for these polarities completely separate from one another. So if You're I go still to... playing this on the Xbox One, right? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So if I go here and I add a slot here, more slots on configuration A, I would have to add more slots on configuration B and C as well if I have separate configurations like I do for my Tigris Prime. That way you're earning you know, everything that you add in the mod area. Because the mod card system is this game's meta. You know, if I didn't need to work tonight... You would play on this? I would bring back good old times. Dude, you know my gamer tag, right? I know, I know, I know. I still have you on my friends list. Uh, I don't, I didn't forget rid of my buddies. Uh, 
hang on. And I, and I still follow you on YouTube. Hey, uh, uh, YouTube deleted my channel because I was advertising on other people's, uh, uh, comment sections. Are you serious? You, you deleted me off your friends list? Dude, I went through a total bitch fit phase a while back. Uh, you, know, you know how that. screwed up I am mentally and emotionally. So? <laughs> I'm fucked it's in me. the head, man. I'm fucked in the head. I don't care. I'll, I'll throw a shoe at you next time. <laughs> Fill a shoe? What? Yes, that's right. That's right. Everybody on YouTube, and one of you guys hear this, I will throw a shoe at him next time if he deletes me off his friends list. Oh, you're gonna throw a shoe at me, not feel a shoe. <laughs> Hold on. Special Madison. <laughs> Canadian leaf. <laughs> uh, you have a prescription for your medical marijuana. So it's not illegal. You can talk about it all you want. If anybody don't like it, I they don't. can just fuck right off. But I will. I was wanting to go off and farm relics, but I'll do that later. Well, you got no, one of those. Start anything. I want to look at the map. Ah, the map. See if I zoom in all the so way. Anything does that. hasn't changed. What's that? That's me zooming in all the way? That's my Warframe sitting there. Yeah, but what's there. that in the middle? That's my Warframe sitting there. Oh! Alright, when you get far enough into the story, you get the Kuva Fortress, and it moves around the map randomly. You unlock Lua, which is Earth's moon. Uh, you know about the dojo. And the derelict. The void. Now the derelict over your here. Your anus. <laughs> What's that? Your anus is derelict. No. It's where you fight the infested. This is uh, yeah. The assassination is for Lafantis. This is the infested area right here, where there's nothing but infested. Okay. Well, this is also. Know, if for... I decide to get this game back, you know you're gonna be like. What levels you got? Levels? What level is he? All of my stuff is level 30. Every last bit of it right now, except for my mastery rank. What's your mastery rank? Uh, 17. It's pretty close to 18, though. See? Right there? That Do little you... white bar? Whereabouts? Yeah, that little white bar right there upper left hand side of the screen oh it's covered Can't by my really, face hold on. <laughs> hold on hold on I'm just gonna go full screen on here I have a cat purring on my shoulder hello cat yeah stop rubbing against the microphone please I'm working on it sorry not you her Emma She's Balto's friend. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna move my camera so that you can see. There! Ah, much, much better. Yes, there, yes, you yes, can yes, see yes, where yes. that show profile above that. That's where my mastery rank bar is. And it's almost at uh, the next level. You know, if I join you, do you remember what lap mastery level I was at? No, I don't remember which one you were at. Five. Hey, that's pretty good. You can do your first five mastery levels in the first five days of gameplay if you do it right. I already did the first five. I'm stuck on that time one, you remember? Uh, no, I don't remember which one that was. That it's... hacking shit. Oh, that one. I will help you get through that as much as possible I'll help I you prepare for one. it what dude I will Fuck. help you prepare for it it's it's okay uh, well 
how many gigs is it? I gotta leave this game, so uh, you're watching your stream, so so I can take a look at the game. Okay. Because I'm watching you on my TV. Well, the thing is, me be talking about adding more mod cards capacity. Do you agree with that, or do you have a different opinion? Tenno, a new alert has been. I done. don't even remember anymore. To get to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking like about. I'm talking about adding more slots for more cards to be put in on everything. Well, if you wanted to, I could say you could do whatever you want, but I have to agree. Well, yeah, you're right. But if you want another slot, you have to pay for that slot. It's the only thing. So if you want like six more slots, to, for the, to carry six more Hold cards up. for your uh, Warframe, you gotta Slimmy. pay for each and every one slot. Yeah, That's okay, paying for say. it with Platinum? Or do yes. pla paying for it with the... Okay. Platinum would definitely separate it from being a, an in-game achievement sort of thing. And that would definitely help a lot of completionists who don't want to have to do a quest to uh, get an achievement so that they can claim they've 100 percent at the game. That would definitely so help them. I'm trying to find that fucking game. And... I agree with you that, yeah, go ahead and do it with Platinum as optional <clears throat> in conjunction with the quest. And my thing is, for as far as achievements and trophies go for the quest, just don't add an, an achievement or a trophy and let people choose whether they want to add more slots or not. That way it's completely just optional. Just shits and giggles. How many gigs is this game? Um, I have no clue. I think it's somewhere around 50. Oh, beautiful. I'm fucked. Okay, I got a cat on. trying to sit in my lap and she's going about it all crooked. Hey, Emma, you know this is Balto's spot that you're um, hoarding right now. You know that, right? And thanks for giving your input as to the uh, adding the more slots for the oh, mod cards. I completely overlooked well, having I, I'm it. Just, I'm just making, well, you wanted to hear my opinion. Well, okay, I'm going to throw my two cents into it, if you like it or not. And you know me, I don't give a flying shit about that. <laughs> it was more but along the lines of $2 want, worth. Yeah, if you want an extra slot and you want to pay, the only way if you want to pay an extra slot and they say, well, okay, we'll give you an extra slot, but you got to pay platinum for this. Well then, hey, I I agree that you should. I'm thinking 10 platinum for each slot because you're adding you're adding 16 10 platinum. <clears throat> well, how much does it cost per plat uh slot? When you bought one. I I'm thinking 10 platinum per extra mod card slot because we're adding 16 okay, say extra base level slots and then two extra auras and two extra exilus slots okay 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 here's the fun part this is the part you may have to disagree and you may want to agree if you want okay say you pay 10 okay that 10 for that one slot okay 10 platinum now here's a question will you if they say okay if you want another one You'll pay 10, but we're going to charge you 10 more platinum. Will you pay 20 platinum for another for another slot after you pay that 10? So the first so they, one's 10 first and one the second want. one's 20. Right. And then 30 for the next one, 40 for the other one. Whoa, and then whoa, duh, whoa. Duh, 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 duh. whoa that's, what I, that's my question. Okay. Things first things first. Platinum is a currency you have to pay real world money for to get this currency yeah, that's in the game. True, but that's if you want that's if you want your Warframe to be have extra cards. 
if you want extra cards on your Warframe or whatever your weapon, whatever it is, right? Would you pay extra currency for that type of weapon? Like what I did when I got those dunk chucks, I souped them up pretty sweet, right? With your help. Yeah. Number. Yeah, and there's still I more to do a even extra past currency that. for that. Mm -hmm. Um, increasing so? how much pat platinum you pay each time. That's not something that everyone's going to say, okay, we can do that. Like, you're going to get 99.9% .9 of everyone who plays this game pissed off that way. Well, that's true. You're totally right about it. But that's if you want an extra card on your Warframe or your weapon. If extra you want slot. to be stepping... Yeah. Yeah, well, an extra slot. You know what I mean. If you want an extra slot for a card on that Warframe, that you want that Warframe to be better than any other person, say you you like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with other players, okay? Well, they got one Warframe, one guy I could uh, have slim, one Warframe with. Slim, hmm. this would not apply to player versus player modes in this game. Besides, you can't take... Well, but you can't take a build you have for player versus environment and go into player versus player with it anyway. That wouldn't apply uh -oh. at all. Uh -oh. Okay, well, I, like I said, I'm not really sure. I'm just throwing in random questions for you. So, well, like, it's been a, such a long time since I've played this game. As far as increasing how much platinum it, now. it costs, the first one being 10 platinum just to whet everyone's appetite and then everyone after that like the first one's a discounted mm -hmm. half off and then everyone after that being 20 I can see them going with that as a sales model and that would be fair to but everyone price wise but if they want to make extra money and shit but if Dude, the company wants on, to make man. extra money they would do that you have, to, you have to buy a slot for every configuration separate and every frame separately they're gonna make a lot uh, of money off of this anyway so you know if you want for me example Necros Prime if I wanted all 24 slots across all the configurations I would have to buy all 24 slots for configuration A then go and buy them for B and C and they would all be formats separately too the formats you put on configuration A would not carry over to configuration B or C oh, it would, okay okay well it, I'll... 10 I'm platinum just, each, you know, just that, that would be a balanced. But if they really wanted well, to increase the price, then 20 platinum at most. <clears throat> because that's a lot of well, purchases. Well, yeah, but that's if you want your Warframe upgraded to the max. Would you spend that? That's my question. For me... I would I would Maybe. spend 20 platinum each on every slot. I really would. And increasing right. the capacity, that little number up in the upper right-hand corner there, to increase that capacity, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would pay for that one too. There you go, you see. I would also do a quest <clears throat> line and go through a tedious process and pay at the same time. I would do it both. But that's me Roger. personally. That doesn't include ah. the nine billion people that inhabit this planet. <laughs> that's true, that's true. But you did bring up really good points that I needed to talk about. Well, I wasn't sure. Like, you know, I wanted to call what's this question. Hold on. Woohoo! Sorry, I'm I'm watching uh, my ha uh, hockey right now on my phone. Ah, which team do you go for? Ah, Montreal. They're playing Boston Bruins. We're kicking ass right now. <laughs> All right. Is there any other things you can think of to ask about my idea here? Did Trump do it? 
No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. You came up with two really anyway, good could... points for the development team that makes this game. They they would have needed that information. They really do need that information. Well, well I wasn't really sure what to ask, but hey, you wanted to ask me wanted to ask you a random question, so Ah oh, sure, what the fuck? Why not? Just throw a random question from Hey you guys all do it. <laughs> Thing is, if I wanted to do that Hi. for my favorite setups, that would be Necros Prime, Rhino Prime, and th that would be a oh. lot of money right there. Then there's the Archiplasm okay, well, and Tigris Prime. All and right, then, well, like Katana, geez. you need to do me a favor. You need What's... to do me a favor. You gotta get Ghost Recon. Which one? That Wildlands. Wildlands? You love that game. Oh my god, dude, the game is a beast. Slim, I don't have money to you get can... another game. Well, it's really cheap. It's really cheap. It's like under 20 bucks. Less than 20 bucks. I, I can't afford to do anything else that I, I've already done. Well, I really can't. Well, I need to get people to support me on PayPal, Patreon, or GoFundMe, stuff like that. I need to get people who are going to support the dumb shit that I do. That's the only way that I'm going to be well, able to they, do that. Okay, 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 okay. Well, what I could probably do is I could support you, support you by streaming with you, too. So if you get another person <laughs> streaming with you and shit, we'll both do clear for and we'll both ask for fucking money. <laughs> so it'll work both ways. Well, on my YouTube so, channel, what there's... I, what I will do, what I can probably do in my <laughs> books, is I can probably help you get that game. I myself, not right now, not right now, but I myself want you to get that game because I, th I myself, I think you will have a shitload of fun in that. Because the campaign will blow your fucking mind. The campaign, you could play the game solo and just play the piss out of it. You don't even need to worry about doing the missions. You could do all the side missions. And the side missions are unlimited to do. You can huh. run off and do kill the predator. You can run off and do this like this. Uh, what's his name from uh, Splinter Cell? Sam. You can I... do a mission with him. You can spy mission with him. Exactly, all that stuff. Hmm. Like the uh, you can tag up with the Rainbow Six clan hmm. and get some of their equipment and stuff. It's a wicked gun uh, game map. Like the weapons you can get on there are un fucking believable. Can you snipe? I know the basics of it, but I don't know how that game handles sniping <laughs> mechanics. Well, you'll figure out the mechanics like ASAP, like really fast. Like you'll really have a fun time. You may have you'll excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. You Wait, may have a uh, a little bit complicated time trying to figure out how everything works and stuff like that. But get a hold of me. I'll jump into your game or or I'll invite you to my little world. I'll, I'll get you go trigger happy, and I will run around and help you get all your little toys. I'm about and to get that you'll achievement. Start, you'll... What? Uh, this is who, you, what, who, or what you are? Yeah, for this game. Oh, okay. I'm I'm that close to getting the achievement. Another way you can help me is you can go and see those links that I put in the description of all my videos. You can... I can't see shit. I'm in my main menu. I'm on oh. my dashboard looking at my screen talking to you. Oh, okay. If you get onto a, a computer, you can copy and paste those links onto uh, social media. Or you can let everybody know that that's there 
like I always do. How about this? We'll get you the game by digitally while I can get you, you get you a Microsoft card and hook you up with that way. Because you can download the game digitally too. Instead of not having the game on cartridge, disc. Like where you got it installed in disc? Yeah, I prefer to have get a hard copy digital. of everything. Well. I'd rather just help you just get the game like ASAP as soon as you can, since so then you can come stream that game. And you might, you might want to get the DLCs, but that will come in time. We'll just get you playing the regular campaign itself, get you to hang out the mathematics, how to get the, the gameplay on it. Because once you get there, because you can really customize your character. Like, I'm talking about your character can run around in a full giddy suit. Uh, your character to be white, black, Asian. I remember, uh, I remember cartel. seeing a bit about that. You don't have to explain all the, I the would you, bits and bobs there. I would you check out my streams. Check out some of my streaming. And I'll show you all the crazy shit you can get. Like, there's all, right. all different weapon classes. There's all different weapon classes you can get your hands on to. Like, I got just well, all the submachine guns. I got all just well, all the assault rifles. I'm You're going to get everything in that game, many. aren't you? I halfway did. I'm going to get everything in this game, too. <laughs> We're going for well, it, aren't we? You are what? Just picture the game playing GTA 5, but you only get four players. Now, huh. excuse me, while I go use the, damn, uh, the bathroom, and I'm really pissed off because Boston just fucking got a goal. Fuck. <laughs> fucking Boston. Okay. I'm mad, but we're still, but we're still winning two to one. Okay. I'm glad he agrees. A bit with what I'm saying, and I'm glad he pointed out the things that I missed. Alright, for everyone who's going to be watching navigation. this on YouTube, feel free to nitpick and point out things I missed. Give your ideas, give your opinions, um, give your support for the, the game, DE that makes it, uh, possibly even me idea. Just uh, share this video with them. Definitely. Share this video. Just that's what I'm asking everyone to do. Till next time, fuck right off.